Hi Leo, this is your March 22nd through March 28th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have the star, we have the magician, we have the hierophant. In the potential outcome, we have the three of wands clarified by the chariot and the world. And we also have the hermit on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Taurus or a Cancer or a Virgo. So we've got six major arcana cards out of seven cards. This barely ever happens, Leo. So this is going to be a very important person in your life. Um, it's for some of you it's possible that you'll be dealing with more than one person because uh, like, I, like I mentioned those major arcana cards could uh, symbolize an actual zodiac sign right but um, we'll just try to stay general in this spread alright Leo so what's important here is uh, like I said you will definitely uh, be dealing with at least one person and this person is going to be a very significant connection um, and uh, you will most likely end up in a committed relationship with this person or if you're dealing with more than one person you'll make up your mind about one of them or whom you want to go forward with and uh, that's exactly what you'll do you'll go ahead with that particular person um, so the star the first card I came out this is the personal Aquarius card you could be dealing with an Aquarius or the star is a wish come true Right then, uh, right next to the star, we have the magician. This is somebody who manifests something or someone into their life. So it goes very nicely together with the star card. So this is something or someone in particular you've been manifesting into your life or they were manifesting you into their life or someone like you. Right then, we have the Hierophant. The Hierophant is the personal Taurus card or the Hierophant is about something traditional like a committed relationship or marriage. Um, on the bottom of the deck we have the Hermit. The Hermit is the personal Virgo card or somebody has been uh, doing some soul searching, somebody who's gone within and uh, when they came out on the other side they had an epiphany moment and uh, they started doing all the manifestation with the Magician card. That's the way I see it. Um, uh, in the potential outcome, we have the Three of Wands with the Chariot and the World. The Three of Wands is my card of somebody who needs to make up their mind, somebody who needs to make a decision. Right? Then the, you will make up your mind and make a decision because then we have the Chariot. The Chariot could be a Cancer you're dealing with, but most likely the Chariot is all about moving forward. Right? It's all about hitting the ground running. Um, the Chariot is also one of the victory cards. And uh, the world clarifying uh, the chariot, this is my happy end card. So one chapter of your life will be coming to an end. And the new happy chapter of your life is about to begin to, together with uh, at least one person. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, a very important week, uh, Leo. So prepare yourself. I really like this spread. Um, to me, this means that... Um, at some point in the, in the future, you'll look back at this week, you'll look back at this decision, and uh, you will look at it as um, like um, a very important point of your life. Like it's going to be like a life-defining point. So if you end up with this, if you decide to go ahead with this person, or if you decide to go ahead with one of the people, you will, your life will take a turn, right? So it's not going to be just somebody whom you'll be dating for a few months and then uh, you'll probably um, not be dating them anymore. This person is going to stay in your life for a very long time, for years and years to come, hope and uh, potentially for the rest of your life. Hence all these major arcana cards. Right? Then the Hierophant is uh, one of the most serious cards. That's the way I see it. So the Hierophant is always about something traditional like, a, like marriage. And this is definitely a wish come true. So it's if you've been manifesting um, someone who would stay in your life, somebody whom you'll be able to share your life with, this person is coming into your life this week. I'm really happy for you, Leo. Congratulations.
Leo, if you are already married or if you are in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the Lovers. We have Strength, we have uh, the Empress. And we also have the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Leo, congratulations. <laughs> this is another amazing spread for you. Um, we've got three major Arcana cards in this spread. And uh, we also have you, the Strength card. That is your personal card. Um, this looks like a proposal to me, or this is an offer to take your relationship to the next level, whatever that level is for you. If you are already married, it could be a gift, you could be renewing your vows, you could be buying property together, you could be uh, moving to a better place together, something among those lines. This is an amazing improvement spread. Um, if you're just dating, then yeah, they could offer you to get married, so it could be a proposal, they could offer you to move in together, make it official, make it exclusive. Um, something amazing is about to happen in your relationship or your marriage. So, well, let's take a closer look. So we've got the Ace of Pentacles, this is a golden opportunity. It could be a proposal, it could be an offer, it could be finances, right? Uh, this is always about something serious, about something grounded. If this person, uh, if this is somebody whom you've been dating for a little while, this person will offer you to, you know, take this relationship to the next level. The, the Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the Lovers. The Lovers is the personal Gemini card. You could be dealing with a Gemini. The Lovers is also about a choice, but to be honest with you, I don't really see any choices here. So this is either a Gemini or the Lovers is um, your soulmate connection the lovers could also be your twin flame connection if you believe in twin flames or it could be the love of your life right this is basically two people coming together two people really madly in love with each other <laughs> then we have strength like i said this is your card leo that is you then we also have the empress the empress could also be you right leo <laughs> the empress is abundance in its purest form Abund i mean the empress is one of the most positive cards in the deck the empress could also symbolize somebody who is expecting a baby so um the two of you could have children together if that is still an option for you but the empress in my spreads usually comes out when uh it's like a sign from above, a stamp of approval for a relationship or a connection to form or to move forward. And we also have the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck. The Four of Wands is one of the uh, marriage cards or committed relationship cards. This is also my waiting card, right? Because in some cultures, people get married underneath a structure with the leaves and branches on top. So the Four of Wands always reminds me of that. So yeah, this is yet another amazing spread for you, Leo. Um, congratulations. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Leo. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago. So it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the Knight of Wands, clarified by the Five of Swords. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Devil, and we have Judgment on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign. Aries, Leo, or, or Sagittarius, or you could also be dealing with a Capricorn. So whoever this person is trying to get back into your life, um, the answer is going to be absolutely not, because uh, you know what this person is all about. Even if they start telling you new stuff, such as, oh, I've changed, it's going to be different this time, I'm here to stay, I uh, want something long-term with you, no, the answer is they are lying, they have not changed, they are still a player, they are still a very toxic person and uh, they will just have some fun with you and they will be on their way out. Alright, so um, judgment on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of somebody coming back from the past. The first card that came out is the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is either a fire sign, there is or Sagittarius. Or this is a card of a player, somebody who is hot and cold in and out of your life. And uh, the Knight of Wands is clarified by the Five of Swords. I think this is how um, you are going to treat this person. The Five of Swords is, uh, you'll just say, oh heck no. <laughs> and you'll just walk away or they'll sl you'll slam the door on the way, on the, in front of their face. Or they'll you'll just block them on your social media or however they reach out to you, right? 
Um, all of that is because of the Nine of Wands and the Devil. The Devil could be a Capricorn you're dealing with, or the Devil is that very toxic person's um, behavior, right, or character. The Nine of Wands, the card in the middle, this is a card of a wounded warrior, so you've learned your lesson. You are not going to let this person back into your life. You're sending this person back to the past where they belong. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Leo, this week. We have the Nine of Cups, we have the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Wheel of Fortune, and uh, we have the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I keep hearing that you're going to get something your way. Something is going to be done the way you want. And I think you um, planned for it and you executed some kind of a strategy here. And uh, you've been waiting for the events to unfold in your favor and yeah something is gonna go in your favor here something is gonna happen exactly the way you planned exactly the way you wanted it to go <laughs> I know this spread is not exactly about that but that's what I see here so the three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck this is a card of people working in the team environment people collaborating this is a good card for work business and finances in general Right? The first card I came out is the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is a card of a wish come true or this is a card of personal satisfaction. So I think that's exactly what's happening here. You will be uh, satisfied about what happened. Something that you've planned. Something that you planned and now are waiting for. Because the next card I came out is the Seven of Pentacles. This is a card of waiting, but what's important about this card is that all the work has already been done. So you're just waiting, you're just looking at this to come into fruition. And here it comes with a will of fortune. So the will is spinning in your favor. It is coming into fruition and like I said, exactly the way you wanted it to. <laughs> Alright, so that's what I got for you. And uh, by the way, it could be anything. Absolutely anything. I think you... Uh, had some kind of a strategy and uh, you put it into action and it worked out. All right, cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen this week, Leo. We have the Four of Cups, clarified by the Five of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Wands and we also have the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck. It kind of reminds me of the X spread I did for you a few minutes ago. Um, it could be a different X, you never know. But the uh, main point of this spread is uh, somebody is going to try to get back into your good graces, but uh, your answer is going to be absolutely not. And all of that is because you've learned your lesson and you just don't want to get hurt again with this person. Right, so we've got the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This is a card of somebody coming back from the past. And the, the very first card that came out in the uh, spread is the Four of Cups and it's clarified by the Five of Pentacles. So uh, the Five of Pentacles is a card of somebody feeling left out and in the cold. And uh, if that's the way this person trying to come back from the past feels this way now, and uh, they will continue <laughs> to feel this way. They will continue to feel left out in the cold. Um, the next card I came out is the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is a single person card, but most importantly, this is a card of somebody who is self-sufficient, independent. So, th so perhaps this person did hurt you in the past, but uh, you picked yourself up, dusted yourself off, and uh, you're shining like a star all over again. And the last card that came out is the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is a card of a wounded warrior, but uh, in this case, this is a card of a lesson learned. So um, the lesson being uh, you not wanting to have anything to do with this person who is trying to reestablish a connection, who is trying to rekindle a relationship with you. All right, Leo, so that's what I got for you for this week. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, please like this video. And other than that, Leo, have an amazing week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing.